Here's how to open the ballot counter. First, carefully move the ballot box, pushing it diagonally to its proper location in the polling room. Lock at least one wheel on the ballot box. Using the silver key, unlock and open the two doors on the front of the ballot box. Remove the contents from the compartments. Before closing the auxiliary door, verify the silver plate is covering the ballot entry opening on the auxiliary compartment. Close and lock the door. Close and lock the lower ballot compartment door. Move to the back of the ballot box. Unlock and open the back door of the clamshell case using the silver key. Leave the door open until closing the poles. Remove the power cord, taking care not to dislodge the small black box in this compartment. Plug the cord into a power strip or outlet. Move to the front of the ballot box. Using the silver key, unlock the clamshell case cover. Unsnap and lift the latches of the case. Hydraulic lifts automatically raise the cover. Using the barrel key, unlock the front edge of the ballot counter. Lift the ballot counter screen to the vertical position. Wait for the counter to beep, indicating it is powering up. The powering up process takes several minutes to complete. Using the barrel key, unlock and open the memory stick access compartment. Leave this compartment open during setup. Verify the seal number matches the seal number listed on the official precinct certification form. After power up is complete, Enter the election code and press Accept on the ballot counter screen. Have another judge watch as you enter the code to ensure accuracy. You have three attempts before being locked out. If you get locked out, contact election headquarters. After the code is entered, the configuration report prints automatically. Once the report has finished printing, press Open Poll. A ballot status accounting report and a zeros tape will automatically print. Do not tear these off. Compare the zeros tape to an official ballot. Verify all offices and candidate names are on the tape. Candidate names on the ballot and tape must be in the same order. Verify that all vote totals are zero. After verifying everything matches, press the blue lever inside the memory stick compartment to release the printer door. Lift the printer door open. Neatly roll up the tape and place inside this compartment. Do not tear off the tape. Press down firmly on the printer door. Listen for the door to snap into place. Using the barrel key, close and lock the memory stick access door. Remove the keys and keep in a safe place during election day. Press Go to Voting Mode on the screen. Verify the public counter is zero. Remember, the protected count is like an odometer on a car and will display a number. The screen will now read, Welcome, please insert your ballot. The ballot counter is now ready for voting.